Welcome YouTube, this is the Crazy Italian, also known as David CHI88 on Twitch. Welcome Twitch viewers. If you're watching, we're doing the Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. This is part two. We just um, defeated Udex Gunder, the first boss, and we've made it to Firelink Shrine. So let's explore Firelink Shrine here. There's a little guy sitting right here. Let's talk to him. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. So we got a collapsed gesture from him. Don't you think? <laughs> Mwahahahahaha, <laughs> he says. We don't, we can't even lick their boots. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking truly. <laughs> <laughs> and here is our handmaiden that I assume will be the lady, the beautiful lady who helps us level up. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Ashen one. To be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen One, bring ye souls plucked from their vessels. Ashen One, to be unkindled, sovereignless souls will... I will show thee how. Ashen One. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame... Okay, well, right here it says embed the coiled sword that we got, the key item that we got from defeating Udex Gunder. Let's try it. So we created a bonfire here in Firelink Shrine. Now let's rest at the bonfire because if you noticed from the health bar, we were almost dead. Travel, a tune spell, organized storage box. That's how you can store away items so they don't appear in your inventory. Makes it a little neater when you're trying to find an item and when you don't have a lot of time. Burn undead bone shard. I believe undead burn sh bone shards are, is an item you'll find that will um, make your Estus flasks heal you a little bit more. It'll make it like an Estus Flats plus one or plus two of up to, I don't know, probably like plus 10 or something. I'm not sure how many ended bone shards you can find and leave. Let's leave for now. Let's head over here. Tritung butthole, wow, that's funny. This is a lady. A merchant. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too. But not so charitable as to give my goods away. 
Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want, no? <laughs> Ashen one, if my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. With ash, I'll fashion new wares. Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? <laughs> So if I bring her Umbral Ash, so I guess I'll find somewhere, then she'll have better wares to sell. Knowest thou of that soppy gossip? That cordial intrusion layeth the path to embers. And so thou art in need of a soapstone, Ashen One. Then thy pockets will overflow with souls to trade to me. <laughs> So she's saying I'm going to need a soapstone, which I assume is the white sign soapstone that allows me to uh, lay down my own so sign on the ground so that others will see it and summon me into their world to help so that I can help them defeat bosses and areas. And then I will be able to get experience points from defeating those bosses. And I believe it'll also give me an ember in my inventory, which will increase my hit points to the maximum and make me able to summon others into my world. And it will also um, restore my ember at the same time. So um, immediately, so that if I defeat the boss in another person's world, I'll have, I'll have my ember restored and I'll be able to summon people into my world. Let's see if she has anything else to say. Ashen one. If my wares bring me up with ash, is it not our sorry? <laughs> All right, let's see what she has to <laughs> sell. Purchase item. An ember. She's got, what, three of those? Repair powder. That might be a pretty good thing to buy. Since our... I'm not sure how fast... Our, um, and how fast our weapons are going to degrade, you know? See, she's got purple moss clump, reduces poison, build up, cures poison. That might be pretty handy. Fire bombs. I've got five of them so far, but I can buy more for a hundred. Prism stone marks pass for placing on the ground. Homeward bone. Returns to the last bonfire rested at or to shrine. White sign soapstone, that's what I want. It is 500 and it's unlimited use and leaves white co op summon sign. I want that. Dried finger should only be used with the greatest of caution. I'm not sure, I can't remember what that does. I know they had that in the previous souls games i think it may i'm not i'm not going to speculate i thought maybe it would increase the difficulty in the area you're in that bonfire area but i don't think that's it tower key i believe that says twenty thousand souls and it's the key to the dilapidated tower behind the shrine so that's up of something that we can go to near this shrine to, to get some items and, do, and explore, but we're gonna have to so, save up a lot of souls. I'm not gonna do that right now. Soul area, soul arrow is a spell. Requires a 10, probably intelligence. I only have a nine intelligence, so I can't throw that spell. She's got a scimitar, which does 90. Plus 35. She's got a, let's see, I, oh, I don't have the, uh, 
What the dexterity to use the scimitar? I need one more in my dexterity to use the scimitar. I can use the uh, short sword. It does 90 plus 14. I think that's not quite as good as as my uh, long sword that I have. And she's got a dagger, which I could use. She's got a miracle that would heal you. And it needs a faith of eight. I've got that, so I could use that miracle. Fair and dark. Fire, soul, dark. Hmm. That's a sorcery. Requires an eight. Intelligence, I've got that. I could use that. Let's see. She's got a halberd. Needs a 14 strength. No, a 16 strength, it looks like. So I can't use that quite yet. I've only got a 13 strength. And it looks like it does more damage than my long sword. Sorcerer's Staff. Requires a 10 intelligence, so I can't use that. And a 6 strength. Talisman. I believe the talisman is for um, throwing mir using miracles. Um, looks like I don't quite have the fa faith. I need one more in faith to use that. The torch is 300 souls. I'm not going to buy that quite yet because I want to see how much I need to level up. Leather shield can parry. It's a small shield. But it only has a 52% physical guard absorption. So that's not too good. The Crimson Parma only has a 52 physical also. It can it can Parry, I guess. It says parry there. Warrior's round shield. Doesn't say parry. It has a 62. It's not an 85 large leather shield. It has an 85 physical. That's a little better. Not quite as good as my 100 for my shield that I've got. And um, it can parry. So, what is this? Chain helm. So, she's got a chain helm, chain armor. Wood bolts, wood arrows are only five for each one. Chain leggings and leather gauntlets. thinking about maybe buying some arrows in case I find a bow but uh, I think I'll wait let's see what else she's got dried finger oh that's just showing a different category he souls Weapons and shields, armor, arrows. All right, let's back out. Ashen One, be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> let's go down here. Talk to Andre the Blacksmith, our good old friend from the other Souls games. Well. A newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine. 
as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. A lot, Estes. I want to a lot, Estes. This is where you can switch how many ashen flasks that do your um, focus points for, and uh, the ashen flask, I don't know if I explained that in the first video, but that is used when you throw a spell, which I'm not gonna be doing, or if you use a weapon skill, a weapon art skill, like uh, my sword, every weapon has a skill that's like a special maneuver that it does, and it uses some of that blue bar, and you can refill it with these blue ashen fl Estes flasks. Um, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to be using those, so I'm going to make all four. There's, there's a total of four flasks, and I'm going to make them all just regular Estus flasks to heal my health points. Let's see if, what I need to reinforce. Okay. Titanite shard, I need two of them to reinforce my long sword, which does 110 plus 14, and it would go up to 121 plus 17. two to upgrade the night shield to night shield plus one it just increases its attack power but I don't really use it to attack with so I'm, I'm not gonna do that let's see if I can infuse it my weapon find long sword a raw if I had a raw gym I can make a raw long sword which does 143 but it takes away the scaling of strength and dexterity it has my if I make a refined it would change the scaling from D to C which is a little better and D to C which is a little better but it would do less damage we only do 98 versus 110. And the fire jam, here we go. It takes away the scaling. So I'm, I, I, right now I have a D scaling in strength. And they're under attribute bonus down at the bottom there. You can see is the strength symbol has a D. And the dexterity symbol has a D, I believe. So I'd rather not make it a fire... It would add 99 fire damage and 99 physical damage. So it would be doing about 198, which is better, but then it wouldn't scale with strength or dexterity. So I don't think I'm gonna do that for now. Let's see if I can repair equipment. Well, I don't, it says, it's, I guess I don't have anything to repair, I guess, because my weapon wasn't broken when I rested at the bonfire, it repaired it back to its um, durability level. All right. That's pretty, pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> oh, let's see. I didn't, let's see ah, if he has anything well, else Mac, to say. It is good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? 
Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder, or simply rest at a bonfire. But should chance impel them break, bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure ye. So handle them with care, if you would. There are two ways to smith weapons. Simple reinforcement is one, and infusion the other. Reinforcement is straightforward. It strengthens a weapon without altering its property. Infusion is a more advanced form of smithing that infuses an element. Reinforcement requires titanite, and infusion requires gems. Bring the stones, and I'll do the smithing. It's my purpose, after all. In battle, your weapons are your only friends. Forge them well, and they won't let you down. Oh, he gave me a gesture. Hurrah! Ah, another matter. Infusing weapons with gems requires a special kind of coal. My humble coals won't be any use infusing more unusual gems. I know, it's an awful shame, but it's all I have. Oh, please don't give me that look. Believe it or not, I'm quite thin-skinned. <laughs> He's thin-skinned. He looks pretty tough to me. Oh, by the way, if you find any Estus shards, bring them here. They can be used to reinforce either of your Estus flasks. Without those flasks, you'd want for life or focus. And they'll always stay with you. Why not treat them well? Huh? <laughs> Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll event when their durability is low, use a powder, but should chance him, I'll hammer them back. They take no pleasure, so handle them. Pretty right, be careful. Good. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> well, I guess that's everything that he's gonna say. Let's go back up here. And uh, see if we can level up. Ashen One, produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. The mark of ash will guide thee to the land of the lords, to Lothric, where the homes of the lords converge. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Let these souls withdraw from their vessels. Manifestations of disparity, elucidated by fire, borrow deep within me, retreating to a darkness beyond the reach of flame. Let them assume a new master. So, changing dexterity up by two changed my right weapon attack power from 124 to 126. And when I changed the strength up by two, it did the same. It changed it from 124 to 26. So, it, it, my uh, weapon damage is scaling equally with strength and dexterity. So, I'm going to increase my dexterity right now up to and I'm going to increase my vigor my hit points up by one and that's going to use all my all my levels So I need a thousand and thirty-eight, and I only have three eleven. 
Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Let's see if I can, how many souls I get for um, using one of these fading souls. 50, so I had five of those, that would be 250. That's still not enough to level me up. So I think I'll Wait. To uh, use those souls until I get some more souls. Okay, let's try exploring around here. Let's go up. Let's see where this goes down here. me to him, okay. There's nothing there. What about over here? That's just a dead end. up here to the right which is left from right from the down the ground floor okay there's some engravings here with some thrones let's watchers of the abyss's throne Jorn the giant of the profane capital's throne. Let's see if there's anybody sitting in the throne. No, I don't see anybody. Let's go back around this way. That was Jorn the giant. Watchers of the Abyss. Here's another one. Ludep the Exiled. There's a guy sitting there, you can see him. Okay, I'll talk to him in a second. Let's go to this last throne. St. Aldrich of the Deep. fell down. Let's see if I can do it without falling. All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. This sad Cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. Knowest thou of our purpose? 
Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast-fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is, I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. Knowest thou of our birth? Five, the fast fade, a reenactment. So it is, I may be. Now, now, do not be away over long. Okay, so he's one of the Lords of Cinder. He's being, he's here. And he is, um, I guess, not shirking his duty. He's actually, you know, gonna try, he's trying to link the fires. And we need to find the other Lords of Cinder, I guess, that would represent the other thrones here. And I guess defeat them in battle to uh, get them to finally link the fires. Let's see what else is up here. Nothing that way, I guess. Let's go this way. Only ahead. the way we came in I think no yes let's head around here I think there's another way out of here that I'm missing I someone breathing bonfire will deliver thee to look for it maybe I need to be over there on the other side this isn't going anywhere No. Let's go this way. Key required ahead. Okay, we can go out there that way. This is a dead end. Okay, let's go out here. I think I'm going to go buy some, uh, I'm going to go spend some more souls while I've got them here. Oh, how may I be? Costs fifteen hundred, so I can't buy the halberd. I can't buy the halberd yet. I could buy some arrows, or I could buy the uh, torch. Let's buy some arrows.
wood arrows. Ashen one, be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> okay, so we got 72 arrows. Let's go back. Let's see if I can... I'm not sure which way I came from. <laughs> Let's see. I think I go this way. Go up here. No, this, this way. Yeah, this is it. go down there I can't come back up I don't think so I'm not gonna go down there yet I'm gonna go this way front door where I came into the Firelink Shrine. So let's continue on this way. So now I got just fire bombs and Estus flasks on this button. Be wary of assassin. Okay, there's somebody going to be up here. There he is. stuck in there and he killed me easily what i was gonna try to do is force him off the ledge but i ended up when i swung i went past him and then i was on the side of the ledge so i tried to back up but i fell over the edge of the wall down and got stuck in there let's uh try it again which way is out this way let's see This 
entrance is like some kind of loading screen or fog door or something. I don't know how to make it, how to go there. I went through it. Okay. There's not much room to move around there on that little narrow staircase. him where he was about to back off the edge of there if I just could have swung but he killed me at that instant not open from this side. Well, I killed him that time. Yay, I killed him, I killed him. Let's not fall off and die now. I got 2,000 souls. I did believe he's gonna drop something. Let's go back and go rest at the bonfire and see if I come back out if the, his item will be up there. I'm gonna have to exit the game and turn a uh, return to the game to get his item. Let's 
level up. Ashen One. Produce the coil, the mark of a Tolothric, where the homes of the Lords converge. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. One. I think I can level up again if I use my souls here. Let's see now if I can level up. Ashen pretty the mark to lock. Very well. Then touch the dark, take nourish. No, I'm short by about 26 souls, so I'm going well, to. Uh, I'm gonna go kill a guy. There's guys out here. And see if I can pick up that item or not that I'm hoping he dropped. Okay, now there's no loading screen right here. Let's see. And the item, the Uchi Katana sword, which is a neat, requires a 16 dexterity. I think I've got a 15 right now, so I just need to level up once more. Master's attire and master's gloves. Let's go back in and see if we can level up now. We just needed a little bit. Oh, there's an item over there. Looks like. Wait. West Shield. Huh. I think that's it. Predict the mark to love. Very well. Then touch take Nari. Let these souls withdrawn from their vessels. Manifestations of despair. So I got the dexterity of sixteen. Farewell, Ashen One. Okay, let's check out this shield that we got. And the, uh, so the long sword does 110 plus 17. Michi Katana does 115 plus 16. So, 
Gucci Gatan is a little better. It also has an additional effect. It says 33 on that circle. effect strength the higher this value the quicker the bleeding will come into effect so this has a bleeding effect on an enemies let's look at the shield our our shield no the east west shield only has a 55 percent physical let me go back to the shield here we go Our shield has 151 magic. This one has 55 physical, 70 magic. It's better in magic, fire, lightning, and dark. So that might be good to have later. And it'll, it's a parry shield. Let's see if it says our shield is a parry. Our shield is also a parry shield, it says. All right, well, let's see the move set on this sword. That was a bunch of R1s. Now let's do R2. Charged R2. R1, R1, R1. All right, well, let's end this video here. Going to hit those subscribes and likes and share this video with the fellow gamers, fam family and friends, and all your YouTube people. And um, enjoy, and we'll be back tomorrow with another video.